Hi, this is Joe Basso with Music Radar, and I'm here with Jim Haler, Haler of Yamaha. And Jim, you're going to tell me about the live custom kit, which yep. is brand new. Exactly. Okay. So it's a brand new series we're launching this year. A lot of exciting things going on at Yamaha right now. This is the first acoustic kit out of our factory in, uh, in China. Okay. Now, it's not a new Yamaha factory. We've been making pianos there for 10 or 11 years, wind instruments, band instruments. They're uh, manufacturing all of our marching percussion over there. Okay. So, And it's 100% Yamaha factory. So it's Yamaha technology from the ground up. Staggered diagonal seam, air seal system, all those are Yamaha invented processes that we've been using for the entire history of Yamaha drums. And what we've done is we've just moved to the factory in China. Um, and you know everybody over there they understand the history of what's going on here and what we're doing so um, you know we're just in the next step in Yamaha drums in producing you know new stuff trying to be efficient um, and uh, you know be competitive in a tough market out here tell me a little bit about the wood on this kit All right this is an oak kit so this will re be replacing our oak custom and this is the same oak that the original oak custom was built with the what they it's a Siberian oak it's the region that, that the, the oak is harvested from the big difference between these drums is traditionally with Yamaha, one ply is one millimeter thickness. These plies are 1.2 millimeters, so it's a little thicker. So even though we're still doing six ply shells for the toms, floor toms, and snare drums, it's like 7.4 millimeters thick. The bass drum is an eight ply shell, so it's 9.6 thick, which is just a tad thinner than the original Maple Custom bass drum, which for a lot of people is the most popular bass drum that we ever did. And what kind of configurations is the uh, set available in? We're doing um, pre-configured setups. We're doing an 18, 12, 14. We're doing a 20, 10, 12, 14. A 22, 10, 12, 16. And a 22, 14, 12, 16. All of our toms are jazz sizes now. So they're 10 by 7, 12 by 8, 13 by 9. Four toms are, you know, at 14, 13, 16, 15, 18, 16. We've upgraded to die-cast bass drum claws with the heads recessed. Uh, we redesigned the tom mount. One of the other things Yamaha is trying to do is become more efficient and earth friendly. So we're trying to find any place where we can trim excess metal off the drum that doesn't affect the integrity of the drum. So by shrinking this up a little, we're using a little less metal. It's a little more friendly to the environment, makes the drum a little bit lighter, and it gives it a little bit sleeker look. We went with a dark chrome hardware that kind of sets it off. Uh, didn't go too dark with it, so it really pops under the lights. Um, we redesigned our bass drum spurs. Any dealer that's ever dealt with Yamaha parts will love the fact that it's the same spur for the right side and the left side. I got a standing ovation when I said that at a dealer meeting the other night. So that's actually a, yeah, yeah. a big deal. We're using the Absolute Style Lug, which has become kind of synonymous with Yamaha. Uh, you know, nice, sleek, newly designed badge. We've got a new throw off on the snare drum, which is very cool. It's a piston throw off. Yeah, so it's yeah. real sleek, quiet, smooth. The string attachment has actually even been simplified, so it's real easy on and off for the snares when you're doing a quick like snare side head change up. Um, and uh, you know the sound of the drums is just you know they're meatier, beefier than the original old custom. Well, you're gonna play now, right? Uh, we'll tap on them a little bit so you can hear them. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm still trying to recover from Tommy Aldridge playing this morning. I'm, I'm still seeing stars, but you know by shrinking the toms down a little bit, we actually. You know, you get a wider dynamic range, so even at low dynamic levels, you're still going to get tone out of the drum. You get a nice musical sound. Four toms are nice and throaty. So, you know, a jazz guy throwing some coated ambassadors on him is going to dig it, playing like at a small club gig. Yeah. The rock guys with thicker heads on him can really dig in and still cut through the guitar player. So, it's kind of an every man's drum set. Yeah. Um, and price point, it's about 10% less than our Oak Custom was. Okay. So, you know, we were able to bring the price point down and spec it up at the same time and still maintain. I mean, Yamaha finishes, you know, you know we've got a reputation for having spectacular finishes. And they've been, we're able to carry that through at the new factory. And now uh, we have kind of a brother or sister uh, set here. Yeah, this is part of the same series, just one of our pre-configured kits. But one of the things that excites me is being a guy in my mid-50s, I grew up in a time when all bass drums were 14 inches deep. And so we're doing a 22 by 14 in this series. And a couple cool things about that. One is that the kind of retro 
those sizes are coming back into vogue for the sound. Plus, if you think about it, drummers are driving much smaller cars these days. Trying to stuff a 22 by 20 or 22 by 18 into the car with all your toms, your hardware, and your bass player is a tough thing to do these days. So these drums are going to fit fit into your car a little easier, easier to schlep it into the gig. So the young guy's going to like it because he's driving a small car. The old guy's going to like it because he's got a bad back. So there again, it's a great thing for everybody. And you don't, don't lose anything out of it. Everybody who really knows a lot about the physics of drums, you're going to realize that you're not losing anything with that thinner bass drum. You get a wider dynamic range. You've still got the bottom end. You've got the punch. So this is a great thing for me. I'm really excited about this drum. And, and Dealer feedback has been been yeah, yeah. been great on this this setup. So. so young guys with small cars and older guys with bad backs. This is the uh, uh, the it. live custom is the the set for you. That's the kit. Jim, thank you very much. It's my pleasure, guys. Have a great day. Have a great show. You too. We'll see you.